Well, as I was talking last night with on Google Plus with Erin, uh, Zoe, uh, Juanita, uh, who else was there? Snowy, uh, a few other people. Uh, the subject came up about my stash. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd let you in. There it is. There it says that's my inner sanctum, which not many people are allowed to have a look at. But in my defence, before we enter, this isn't a private stash. As you know, I've got, well, I'm trying to set up a little business. Um, oops, can't even get in. This is a good start, isn't it? Can't even get in the door. Uh, right. <laughs> That's because it's, uh, as I say, a business, really, that I'm setting up. And this is not my personal stash. This is a stash to do with the business. So... Uh, that at the top is a box full of all kinds of eyelash wool. You know, the kind you buy because it's a bargain and then you wonder why you ever did. Uh, these are mostly from Kemp, so that you can see it or not. Um, a lot of it is Peyton's. Um, various things like the Mirage. And that's the one I crocheted, you know, the sweater, which we won't go into on here. Uh, that's more of Peyton's. I don't know what, what it remember what it is. Oh, it's Morocco. Peyton's Morocco. There's two, three shades of Morocco there. There's the third one there. Uh, don't remember what these are. I think they're Peyton's. Peyton's, Peyton's. We go a bit further down and this was my obsession with Schorler and Stahl, which is really expensive wool, but I've managed to get it at a bargain price, which is why it's in my business stash. Um, this is a very chunky one. This is, uh, um, it's, um, what do you call it, Indico stuff? Uh, it's Serdar, anyway. I think it's Serdar Indy. Then we go a bit further down, there's more Shawler and Stahl. I'm sorry if I'm going a bit too fast for you, but, um, uh, I can't show you every individual one, otherwise we're here forever. At the bottom here is my fiercely guarded stash of American yarn. Um, that one and... The one at the bottom there and there, which I've paid extortionate amounts of money for. So they'll probably be in my personal stash. Here we've got cotton of various descriptions that I pick up as bargains here and there in among um, eBay and wherever I am. Yeah. This is vintage yarn. This is Serda Silhouette and Emu Pearl. Again, it's all discontinued and it's a, you know, a bargain to me. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I can't get it again. And I used to use it when I was crocheting when I was a lot younger. Uh, that one's Louisa Hardin. There's a green and um, a red. That's terribly, terribly expensive. But I managed to get it at a really knockdown price when Stash was having a, a sale. That again is some more um, discontinued yarn I got from um, eBay. These were Stash yarns that, that I got from... Uh, Abacan when they were having a stash uh, a sale. Oh no, I beg your pardon. That is a Serdar one. These are once again Louisa Hardy. Um, and that's another Serdar one at the bottom, Serdar Reflection. They're slightly shiny. But at the top there, there is, I'm not gone funny in my old age. Uh, where have we gone? Let me back up a bit. Uh, that is uh, a bassinet or whatever you want to call it, a uh, Moses basket. And it does have my um, stash of my three baby dolls, but I do not play with them. <laughs> not got in my second childhood. They're actually like mannequins models for when I do the baby stuff. At the top there is remnants of, where, of my shop, actually. The Staylight and the Liscord Debt is cottoned by Twillies. Long, long gone. And in the bottom there in a box, in a brown box you can't really see, is some list Twist, which again is long, long gone. So that really is my personal stash up there. Personal stash from way, way, way back. Uh, this is just a general assortment of all kinds of things. You've got, I've got Aaron's there. I've got some more Peyton's um, stuff there. That's another third. No, is it said That's Wendy. Uh, I think it's Moiselle. That's been discontinued. Oh no, that's the Moiselle. Sorry, I beg your pardon. That's discontinued again. It's lovely yarn. I've made a couple of jackets in that. Uh, we've got further down, we've got some more cottons. This is some silky yarn from Peyton's. And then at the bottom, again, if you can see it, I don't think you can really. There's more cottons down there. 
in here is a bag which I'll open up another time which would interest um, <laughs> well Erin particularly because it's all sock yarn there's a whole uh, molten brown bag full of sock yarn <laughs> uh, which is lovely <laughs> that one there is a basket full of cottons as in the one on the bottom these bags um, are not full of yarn surprisingly enough they're full of ready-made garments that I made you know that are for sale in my Etsy or waiting to be for sale in my Etsy um, that's another jacket that's there for sale in my Etsy so what have I got at the bottom more cotton these again are personal stash because they came back from way 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 back here yeah. uh, then we've got some more double knittings that I've acquired at various stages more of the dreaded black in fluffy Zoe <laughs> um, these are my baby yarns I've got a little bit somewhere yes of the James Seabrett um, the baby yarn that Erin likes and I think there may be some more in that box there as well we go up to the top and I've got um, Aaron I think in the big balls of Aaron giant balls that I get the pink and the yellow it's that bobbly stuff that I cannot crochet with at all but I will knit with it eventually make nice baby blankets I think then we've got some super chunky it's the Sirdar big what's he called big something or other biggie <laughs> whatever um, then we've got some more chunkies we've got creams reds some even more chunky that's another oh big softy it's called yeah that's um, some more Sirdar chunky chunky and then we get to the bottom and that's just ordinary chunky now you've got on this side we've got my passion with ice yarns um, we've got all various kinds um, I do love the you know the magic yarns which are the multicolored ones they're gorgeous for baby wear uh, some of these are a bit strange you know when I've ordered them I didn't know what they were very thick and thin not quite sure what I'll use them for um, we've got some more the cotton if you ever get a chance to use the ice cotton is quite nice there's actually a stack behind that but I don't touch it because it will all fall on me and we've got more and more and more of the ice yarns um, again these are not personal stash these are to, for using um, you know with orders when I get them off and these are ice yarns that have got lurex in them um, various designs of lurex and then in here I've got oh gosh it's actually some lurex it's called emu candlelight there's six balls I think there's nine balls I think there's yeah 15 balls of that and I used to have that in my shop so it's really vintage stuff these are just bits and bobs of double knit that I've bought when it's been on offer uh, in this box here you've seen before on a video is the lovely um, wool with lurex that Hayley sent me for my birthday this is personal stash I wouldn't use that for anyone else um, let me move my bag of baby things I know it's baby things because it's got babies on the front of it yeah. And what we have here in the cupboard is eat your heart out one eater we've got lots and lots of um james c brett <laughs> james c brett james c brett that isn't james c brett by the way it's murano really really expensive yarn it's nine pounds something for a ball that's expensive in my light these bright bright colors i bought and they didn't look this bright when i bought them um it's basics i don't know whose it is but it's extremely bright so I'm really not sure what I will use that for and then at the bottom we've got Peyton's Diana there you go Zoe Peyton's Diana that's the blue there and I believe I've got a little bit of white tucked in somewhere oh yeah it's up there a little bit of white tucked in in Diana right so that's really oh and that's the elastics and ribbons and things that I got left over from my shop so they've been there for a long time they do come in handy for time to time and those are boxes that I've yet to make up you know the sort of storage boxes with lids you know, like origami origami is it called where you make them all up and the winter coats hanging behind the door and this shelf has moved as you can see there's a gap now between it it's moved which means it's very awkward to open and close the door so anyway I hope you like Oops. <laughs> the tour of my stash room with one of my uh, 
models there in the bottom. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I'm worn out now, just staggering in there. The reason I've had a bit of a tidy up is because my son and daughter-in-law are coming and um, I want to be able to shut this door <laughs> because I get told off by all this. Yeah, but once again, I must say it is not personal stash, right? Some of it is. Hold my hand up with that, some of it is. But the most of it is actually to do with my, well, <laughs> would-be business when it gets off the ground, which I've got fingers crossed on and I'm ever hopeful for that this is what this is and I've got the bank loan to prove it. <laughs> so these are the bags with all the <coughs> stuff in to sell, which hopefully I will sell eventually, yeah. So uh, bye for now.